Come Monday, the African Union Commission will have a new chairperson in office. This is the second vote to be held after neither of the six candidates garnered enough votes to secure victory at the AU summit in Kigali. The AU Commission deals primarily with policy of the African Union. The new chairperson will be selected by the heads of state assembly through a secret ballot. When you start the process of electing the chairperson, it is through a secret ballot that is done by heads of state and government. And they will start with all the six candidates uh, and keep reducing until you come to one candidate uh, through that iterative process. Uh, and a candidate must obtain 70 percent. After the AUC chair is elected, also have two five-year terms that run concurrently. However, outgoing chair, the Minizuma, served only one term and stepped down to pursue other interests. After the chairperson's election, next to her, the deputy chairperson, followed by eight commissioners. The rule is thought that the chairperson and deputy chairperson cannot come from the same region. So you then also conduct a similar exercise for the deputy chairperson. Again, this is voted for by heads of state and government. Now, once you have done that, now you know where the deputy chairperson is coming from, you know where the, the chairperson is coming from, then you elect the eight commissioners done through the process of ministers. They elect the eight and then bring for the heads of state. And in each region, you must have a lady and a gentleman. Whoever is elected chairperson, a full entry awaits them. Security, membership of the UN Security Council and development are high on the agenda. But perhaps of immediate concern is a crippling drought affecting sub-Saharan Africa. Robert Magela, CGTN, Addis Ababa, Ethiopia.